Okay, so uh, I just saw that the video didn't make it all the way through. Again, we're all different. We're all the Elohim to varying degrees. And again, like I said, people are seasons. So, when it comes to being seasons and being seasonal, you need to know your your flow. You need to know your cycles, your cosmic seasons. You need to know who's coming through you. And that's why, again, why you need to know the rising signs. You need to know the moon signs at conception, not at the supposed birth day. So you need to know uh, pretty much the rising signs and moon signs of all the closest people to you, whether they be considered friends or family. And um, evaluate everyone that you've ever had shared uh, sexual experience, especially shared orgasm with. Because you likely created a ripple and um, basically had a, a birth slash abortion in the less dense layers or you could say you sidestepped and went to a parallel universe with that. And um, basically, if you ever in a relationship with someone, or if you have your partner again, like I was saying, this is a duality, and your opposite might... Again, all the, the duality, your, your polar opposite, or your, your absolute opposite, whatever you want to call it, you collide with them, you reconcile with them, you become one yourself, because they, they remind you, they remember you, they remind you of all that... You are and all that you aren't, and vice versa. And that's this life of duality. So it's not necessarily a life where you have to have kids. It's not necessarily a love story. A duality, could, your equal opposite could be the same sex. That means that you're homosexual. It just means that the two of you need to solve something in this lifetime. And that lifetime could be just this day. And you could be done after that. That's all you had to do on this earth. And then you move on to another place. So, when you have a series of ejaculations with your partner... If it is a sexual relationship that is, uh, of course, of heterosexual nature I'm speaking of, that is basically a soul screaming through you in a uh, segment in space. You know, you see in the beginning it will be a, a larger amount, then less and less as the segment of ejaculations uh, continues on. So, basically, it's if they were to get pregnant at the end of that, that would be a more fragmented soul. Because you're just fragmenting them with each ejaculation instead of refining the energy and having a holistic experience, a holistic sexual experience where the energy isn't drained and the two people create a union and then you actually go. You don't supposedly come. You, you, you're you basically, again, like a lightning fixture. Fixture you sending lightning through you as the male principle and ricochet it off the female principle if you're busted. That's if you're... Uh, ejaculating without purpose so and in you know you don't know anything about ejaculation and holding it and refining the energy it's the same thing with either way you two are getting together to create something so you are having a child or a brain child one or the other you, you know so you're sharing blood mixing your blood one way or another and it, regardless of whether you are in a circumstance where your duality might not be uh, two people that are of different sex Every time you release your sexual energy, you got to look at it like since you are two, one of two in this duality existence, you are releasing both of your energies. And that's the same thing with any relationship of two, of duality. You really, you got to look at it that way. You got to look at it like it's not, same thing with money. Like money is somebody else's debt. It's not really yours. No one really owns money. Same thing with people. You can't, no one can disown you because they never owned you. You can't lose anyone because you never owned them. You never had them. So, it's just cycles. And we're all going through this cycle, this interlocking cosmic cycle, these seasons. And it's just that real. People are seasons in that sense. You know, it's just a cosmic season. And it, uh, a voice again by, you know, will just scream through you. And this is constantly happening. And you basically deny that soul or that ancestor, that aspect of yourself, every time you deny the process of life or if you're busted. Check out the book Busted by R. Bud. If you're busted and you're just having unconscious ejaculations, you're basically aborting. It could be your grandmother. It could be anybody. That's what you have to look at whenever you're having a kid. you got to look at it. You're trying to fully reincarnate an ancestor. So, as a house, you, as a cosmic house, this body, you want to basically create another establishment that is a, uh, that would, you know, be inviting of a uh, complementary lives, complementary uh, energies, we could say. So I'm gonna leave it at that. 
in a life of duality. Uh, we have this situation, of course, where we are um, just constantly reminded of our um, supposed equal opposite. And if we're not, then we seek them. And they're seeking us this whole time. Then you finally collide, and then everything's learned, and then you move from there. It's kind of might you can look at that as the beginning of life, however you want to look at it, because life doesn't end, and death is what you make it. So I'm gonna be done rambling on here. I just wanted to clear up that thought.